Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back <laughs> to my Ron Strong shenanigans. And this is a story that I've been wanting to share. It's in my book, but I've been wanting to share it because, you know, it it, uh, it involves my boy Cato, rest in peace, and um, this uh, person, dog, <laughs> named Charles Manson. Yeah, uh, let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up guys? JC, Wrong Strong And if you are new to my channel Don't forget to subscribe Hit the bell, don't miss nothing Live Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, it doesn't matter. Tell me what you think. You know, I, I'm here sharing my stories, my shenanigans, and from here and there, I hope to make you laugh, enjoyment, entertainment, education, whatever you want to call it. But let me know what you think. If you are part of my Suburban family, get on the Suburban. Let's go for a ride on the south side or north side. Because people don't realize that Chicago is a very, very unique city. Our culture, our lives, very, very different to other cities. So if you have a bourbon, a K5, a Bronco, and it's jacked up with a rammer on it, you already know what time it is. Suban Sela Suburban. Let's get this video rolling and let's get it. JC, I am Wrong Strong, and today we're going to talk about Cato, a pit bull that he had, and the story behind what I had to do to pretty much take over adopting this dog. It was a Chinaman pit bull, and Chinaman pit bulls is a bloodline that is really known as game dogs. Uh, they were developed by a, a guy named John Gardner, I believe, and the, the bloodline was developed, uh, very lean appearance, overall gameness, very uh, uh, very driven, intelligent, uh, just size, personality. It's a very, um, it's a dog with a personality of its own, and very, very strong breed, very strong minded. They like to do what they like to do. And... Um, you know, uh, one day out of nowhere, Cato calls me in the morning because usually I would go over there every morning and I'll smoke some uh, bud with him and stuff like that. And he called me before I even got up and he's like, you need to come over. You need to come over right now. And I think it was about 8, 8 in the morning, something like that. Uh, and I was like, w what's up? Um, he didn't say nothing, just told me to get over there. So, uh. You know, I rush over there strapped up. I, I think something like bad is happening or something really bad happened. So I, I, I roll over there with my strap, everything, and I, I get there, right? And he tells me, you have to take Manson. His dog's name was Charles Manson. He was, like I said, he was a Chinaman pit bull, lean, fast, fucking mean. Every time that dog would see me when I would come over, he wanted to literally kill me every time. 
every time. And it didn't help that Kato would egg him on and, and, you know, sick him on me. He would scare the shit out of me. I was terrified of that dog. I When I say terrified, like, I was very, very scared of that dog. And, you know, I come over and... He tells me, you got to take the dog. You got to take him because the cops are looking for him. And I was like, what do you mean they're looking for him? He's like, he bit the mailman yesterday and they came looking for him today. And I was like, well, where is he? He's like, I have him out in the garage in the car, you know, hiding. Criminal ass dog. <laughs> I was so scared of this fucking dog. That I said, no, I'm not taking him. Uh, you couldn't even pay me to take him. My, my pit bull that I had at my house was like the sweetest Care Bear ever. He was the Care Bear with the heart. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not taking him. So he begged me, begged me. I felt bad, man, because I really, he really loved that dog, actually. He had just opened up a car wash. I think it was called Hot Boys, uh, way in the south, like by eight, uh, the Wild Hundreds. And I said, fine, I'll come and get him later. He's like, no, you need to take him now. And I was like, I'm not going to jump in my car with that fucking dog in the back so he could like bite my neck and rip my head off. I was like, literally, guys, I'm telling you, this dog hated my guts, hated my guts. So he goes into the kitchen and he pulls out this leash that was, I guess, like seven feet long, right? And he's like, look, I got a long leash. Just, you know, walk with him. He's like, that way he can build, you know, trust with you. And, uh, you know, you can like build a bond with him as you walk home. And I was like, you know that you live on 47th Street in Central, right? And I live on 79th in Cicero. If you're from Chicago, you know that's a very long walk. I'm pretty much walking all the way to Fort City. I don't know how he did it, man, but he convinced me. I, I, I love that dude, so I would do anything for him. He convinced me. I left my car there in front of his house, and I started walking with this pit. He literally, for the first two blocks, every couple of steps, he would turn around, look at me dead in my eyes, and growl, and pretty much was telling me he was going to kill me. I was shitting in my pants. I was, I, I, I'll never forget that day because I kept on saying, oh, you, I kept on trying to talk to him like in, in a baby voice. <laughs> Oh, that pretty dog. You're so cute. <laughs> and it wasn't working. He kept on growling and wanted to, wanted to kill me. There was a few times where he turned around and actually started walking towards me. But he then turned around and started walking again. And it's almost like he did it on purpose just to like make me shit on myself. So here we are. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We get to 63rd and Cicero. There's a liquor store there. I go into the alley because I have to take a piss. Taking a piss, out of nowhere, a carload of 2-6 pull up. 2-6 uh, is a gang. I've done a video of them in the past. For some odd reason, they've always had a high presence <laughs> on 63rd and Cicero, 63rd and Pulaski. They've always been around. They were in the alley, they jump out, you know, they start chasing me. So I start running to come out to Cicero through the alley, right? Manson goes back towards them and starts ripping them apart. He starts, you know, attacking them. It's like four or five of them. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, I was like, rest in peace, Manson, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> so I start running, and on 63rd and Cicero, there's a bridge. So I was trying to get to the bridge. <laughs> so I'm running, running, running. Next thing you know, I turn around to my left, 
and here's Manson running right next to me. I, sh I shit you not, when I turned around and I looked at him, it's almost like he smiled at me and told me I took care of business. I, 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 I swear to God, that's how his face looked. That's, that's the look he gave me. After that, we started walking home with no issue. He didn't growl at me, nothing. From that day forward, that dog rode around with me in my Chevy Caprice every day. He was my, my best friend, my bodyguard, my left hand man. It's even, there's a, a video that I posted where somebody actually remembers me. And they're like, hey, you're that dude that used to ride around in that Chevy, because I had a, a chameleon paint job Chevy jacked up on, on rims. And I used to ride around with Manson all the time. And we used to always, you know, jump out on dudes and he would jump out with me. He was a criminal. <laughs> he was a straight criminal. And, you know, people remember that. And it was crazy, man, because, like, he became, like, really close and really tight with me. And he even, the person, there was a person that, one of my own boys, I'm not going to say no names, uh, one of my own boys that tried to kill me and, and he robbed me at one point through with some other guys. Jealousy, you know how I tell you guys all the time. Uh, he did not like that motherfucker. Every time he would get in the car, Manson wanted to rip his head off and I didn't see it. He was warning me. He was telling me he did not want him in the car. And it's crazy, man, because it is true what they say. Man's best friend is a dog. You, I, you know, you would trust them more than anybody because they have your back to the fullest. And, you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, a year later, uh, we jumped out on some some people on Western and uh, they shot him and uh, he passed away. But I always remember him, you know, I, I always uh, remember just the heart, the, the, the just the, the way the, the way he was. He was almost like a human. Uh, he reminded me so much, it's this old cartoon that back in the day, I don't know the name of it, but uh, they're all like, um, they're all racing and I, I think I'll, I'll look for the picture so I can put it up. But there was a dog that used to, he used to laugh all the time. And that's how Manson reminded me all the time because he was such a criminal with me. And he was always like ready to jump out. Then I, when he would see me running back to the car, he would jump back in with me. When I went to go, you know, pick up money, stuff like that, he was always with me, always had my back. And, you know, um, I'll always remember him, you know, I, I was actually thinking about, you know, getting him tattooed on my back and, uh, you know, remembering him. I also want to get uh, Cato tattooed on me, but, you know, Cato impacted my life in many, many ways. And, you know, that was one of the big ones, you know, before he made me leave Chicago was you know giving me that dog forcing me to take that dog because i was so scared of him but i always remember him kato rest in peace i know you're up there looking at me dog and i know manson's up there and you know this is this is part of my story this is what i share you know the wrong and strong channel is is more than just prison it's motivation it's you know like i said present past future uh your, your past does not define who you are, man. You still have you still have a chance. If you woke up today, you still have a chance today to, to make a difference and change your life and become somebody else. My name's JC. I am Wrong or Strong. Remember, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And you only have one life to live, man. But if you live it right, one life is all you need. Wrong or Strong family, Lasso Burban. I'll check you guys out on the rebound. Laters.